So I wanted to make a video today showing you on Hunting Simulator 2 how to get the Cottontail Rabbit and the uh, Jack Rabbit as well. Uh, I had watched some people's videos and I had seen they were hunting in a Pandera region and I tried that for hours and hours, never even seen a footprint. I could tell that they just got lucky. They showed an area on the map and then they were all over the map in the video. So I wanted to put together a video to show you how to get one every single time you're out there. And uh, save yourself a huge uh, amount of time if you're stuck trying to get the last few hairs. Because we all know that that's the toughest animals to catch in a game. So uh, here's my video. So what you want to do first off is make sure that you're picking the evening. Because that's when they're uh, out there the most. And then you're going to make sure you have all the right stuff and head to the Roosevelt Forest. Um... Bring your retriever along. I fear people say that you can't have your dogs out there, but you can. Bring your retriever along, especially if you're trying to level him up. And plus, there might be a some might be an instance where it, the rabbit dies somewhere that you can't get to it, so you won't have to go back to get him to retrieve it. Fine. So bring him along. Plus, he'll help you find the tracks easier. And I want you to go to where I'm going on the map. And every time you're going to see cottontail droplets and you're going to see tracks here. This is cottontail uh, country. I don't care where anybody else tells you to go. Go here every time. I'll show you on the map. And I'm going to uh, show you a few times that the tracks are always there. I'm going to come back here three or four times and show you the same tracks are there. Take your dog across the river and make him stay, stay so he's not are. startling the rabbits at all. And then you make yourself back to where you saw the tracks. And uh, go prone somewhere where you can get a good view of the area. And just uh, stay prone. Don't move around a lot, but make sure you're looking every direction. A lot of times they'll come from this left side. But uh, just to be sure, make sure you're looking around. Don't move, bounce around too much, though. You don't want to scare them off. And I'm even going to show you a way, if you're one of those people that aren't are impatient and move around a lot, I'll show you how you can bag one as well. Uh, don't worry. If you see a big game animal that's going to get you a lot of credits, go ahead and take that animal out. I'll do it here in this video. And that's why I did it, was to show you that you can get the animal, and you can return to the spot, and the tracks will be there. Here I am getting the grizzly. I said I can't pass up that money. So I'll go ahead and bag this grizzly and I'll just come, go back to the lodge and come back and look at that one shot. Always go for the head and down the body. That way you can got a chance of hitting the brain plus the organs and it's usually one shot because these bears will take you all over the woods if you, uh, if you miss uh, getting a lot of vital organs. See there I got the brain and the organs. That's, how, that's the shot you want to make when you go for the big game. That has nothing to do with the cottontails but I wanted to give you a little bit of knowledge there while uh, we're on this part. And there, see here I am, I come back, there's the cottontails. You can see it's a heavy cottontail traffic area. They're always here. They'll always be there. Just return to the lodge, come back, make sure you thank your dog for doing all the hard work. Here we are coming back again, and there's my dog finding tracks again. They're always going to be here. This is a heavy area. So stay there, stay prone, and wait. They always return to the same areas because they need the vegetation, and plus they're just programmed that way. Here it is again, and there's the tracks. So if you're patient and you stay there, you're going to get one. You might even get a Good jackrabbit. Job. I'll show you here. They'll come along, and uh, the same route always. And there it is, jackrabbit. That's not the one we're going to get, but... Uh, we're going to let him go because we're waiting for the cottontail. We've already got a nice jackrabbit. But if you can't do this, another one is, if you go to the tree stand right by the cabin and you set up in there, you don't have to worry about how much you move in the sound. One will come along and uh, you can get it, but I prefer doing it this way. Make sure you're paying attention though because they get away on the run like this. They're hard to get, but I'm an awesome shot and we're about to drop it in one. Bam. Here's your cottontail. If, it's, if you're like me, this will be your last uh, animal, and you'll get, unlock the shotgun, and then you'll have a full lodge. I'll take you and let you see my lodge, let you see me pick up the shotgun, and there it is. 
You only get that for getting every animal, and there's the rabbits, and that's how you get a cottontail, and that's how you get a jackrabbit. Don't watch anybody else's videos. They, they I've watched them and I wasted a lot of hours of time. This is going to save you hours of time. This is the way to do it. Thanks for watching, guys. And hey, you're welcome. I know a lot of people is going to be thankful for this video. Catch you guys next time.